Most of the cost of making anything, from growing food to building a skyscraper, is the energy of pulling raw materials out of the ground, shipping, processing, shipping again, and so on. If the cost of energy goes to zero, the cost of agriculture and manufacturing becomes negligible. Other critical solutions, like water desalinization to end drought or air purification, both of which are prohibitively expensive due to energy costs, would suddenly become viable in a free energy paradigm. A new world where humans live in perfect harmony with nature is possible within our lifetimes. But this would mean the end of oil, gas, and coal, as well as the centralized power grid and the global macroeconomic system which will stop at nothing to protect the hundreds of trillions of dollars at stake. <laughs> the consequences of keeping all this secret. We are in the process right now of, of doing something that I've termed planeticide, the deliberate killing of an entire planet with malice of forethought through greed and stupidity and power. All the damage we're going to see in a few minutes, totally avoidable. Every bit of it since the 1920s at least. And we can prove this. I'm afraid that the term planeticide is all too real. The ecocide doesn't really say it. We are in the process of destroying the biosphere, destroying a habitable world for certainly the majority of the animals on the planet. I'm an older guy. I won't be around to see the worst of this, but I have not just trepidation, but terror at what's going to be faced by my son's generation and the generations that come after him.